Hi, I'm Christine Dolan, theater critic of the Miami Herald. Burn Notice star Sharon Glass lives in Miami and films her highest rated cable TV series here, but on her break she's decided to take on a play. Sharon is starring at Gable's stage in the play A Round Heeled Woman and she joins us here in the Miami Herald studio. Um, Sharon, why did Jane Juska's book about her late life sexual adventures make you think this is a movie or a play for me. <laughs> for me. Um, uh, when I read the book, my, first of all, my husband dared me um, to go after it and never dare me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I picked up the, I read an article by Jane Just because she had been interviewed in the New York Times. And it was a very stunning subject matter of what she had actually done. She took an ad out. She's a Berkeley school teacher. She took an ad out in the New York Review of Books so she could attract an intellectual like herself. And it said, before I turn 67 next March, I would like to have a lot of sex with a man I like. If you want to talk first, Trollope works for me. He was a British romantic novelist. And, and I was totally taken by her. Uh, Jane Juska wrote the novel and Jane Prowse adapted it to stage. Um, it was so beautifully written. It's now in its seventh printing, this book. I mean, it's a bestseller. <clears throat> and women want to hear the story. And I wanted to tell it. So to make it work on stage, what are the trickiest parts of that? Um, well, I do have sex on stage. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and yet I keep most of my clothes on. So that's very tricky. The, the most daring, the most uh, frightening scene I do is, is I, I orgasm on stage. Wow. Yeah. Um, as did Jane when it really happened to her. Actually, I orgasmed twice. <laughs> um, but it's, it's just, it's really a story. Obviously, it's highly sexual. It, a lot of it's very heartbreaking. Not every man was kind to her. Um, and she still has the son to deal with who she hadn't seen in 16 years. What happens is this resolve. It's not porn. <laughs> you know, it's, it is about her sexual journey, but she ends up having to face her demons, uh, her relationship with her father, her husband, and her son, who when you meet her, she had not seen him in 16 years. What is in that play comes right out of Jane's book. There's one scene that Jane never wrote about, about when she met her son again. <clears throat> and Jane Prowse, our British playwright, wrote, killer, killer scene at the end when she and her son reunite. So it's not just Jane Jessica's sexual journey, it's also her emotional journey. And her looking for sex forced her to look inside at what else was wrong. I know that you live here in South Florida and you film Burn Notice here. Um, you could have done this play anywhere, so I'm curious why you chose Gable Stage as the place to do it and whether the intimacy of Gable's stage uh, spooks you at all in doing such an intimate piece. Um, we picked Gable's stage, first of all, because I live here, and this is where I spend my hiatus. Um, but also Brian Eastman, my British producer, uh, was very taken with Joe Adler and his theater. And this, the size, even though it's a tiny theater, the stage is large, and it's exactly the size of a New York off-Broadway stage. Uh -huh. So the sets that are being built now, hopefully we're invited to New York, um, it, they, it will fit, fit perfectly. And the other draw for me is, is Joe Adler. Um, having lived here for many years, I go to his theater quite often, and everything he does is just stellar. And, now, in answer to your question about how do I feel about the intimacy of the stage, it's a very intimate piece, needless to say. Right. Um, which is the good news. The, the Gable stage is perfect for that. The bad news for me, who has awful stage fright, is that I can see the audience. I mean, the, the light that overflows off the stage, some of you know, the first couple of rows. So I've told all friends, you may not sit in the first two <laughs> rows because it's, there is such an intimacy about it, which is perfect for this this piece. 
What do you think the message is of a round healed woman for both women and men? Uh, not just about um, our sexuality as we grow older. Be courageous. Go after what you want. That's it. That's what she did. It, this particular one was a sexual journey, but I believe that in anything. I, I'm 60, I'll be 68 in May, and I'm courageous. I go after parts. I want to always work, and I believe that they'll let me. <laughs> I believe they will, too. Well, you know what I'm saying. It, it, that's what I want. Right. And I, I believe anybody can have what they want if they believe it. Right. and have the courage to go after it and maybe have a touch of naivete. <laughs> well, Sharon, I'm very happy that you had the courage to go <laughs> after this book and shepherd it on its journey from book to play and that you chose Gable Stage to be the venue where you bring it to life. Me too.